Woo! <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty proud of you. You did a good job. I'm, I'm right? trying, I'm learning. Yeah, phase I'm learning. one. 28 years of experience for you, yeah. right? Like that's insane to say about right? any profession. Like that's pretty crazy. The and fact 26 that- 26 for yeah, you? Over 50 years of combined experience. Frightening. I have to say guys, it kind of looks like it. Like, it's <laughs> awesome. It's so cool. We're sitting inside the house and of course we're checking out the views cool. from the kitchen window over here, from the bedroom window, from the front door, which I can't wait to show you guys. It just turned out absolutely amazing. All right, it's our last day for phase one in Utah. About the energy you would have after setting. <laughs> after all the dust. Uh, all the dust. <laughs> Everybody's just kind of staring at the hill this morning. <laughs> Why are the rocks moving themselves? Oh. You said 11.30. <laughs> so we actually have got made a ton of progress. We're looking at about, I don't know, what would you say, that's six feet high? Yeah, easily. What we've got finished? Yeah, yeah. So we're about six feet high here. Last night we started up in here into the other area and I'm gonna kind of take you up the pathway of the water, but this will be a really cool, impressive water. Waterfall. I can't wait to see what happens and through here water is going to kind of aggressively move through all this Then we have a double quick two-tier waterfall here, which will look good But notice how much excavation we have for this really just because of the size of the boulders So we've over excavated everything and then up here you can see the frame rock for another waterfall But we've got this giant pool up here and it's really just to kind of break up the monotony We don't want everything being you know eight feet wide So this area here we used a 20 by 30 foot liner to get us a really big upper pool last night setting this boulder we love this rock but the beauty of this rock is kind of the cantilever that went in here we had to actually hold that while we brought something else in to lock in a place but we hate the way this looks so we're gonna pull this one out find a different waterfall stone and then come in with another frame rock here this pool is gonna accept a 12 p.m. pump coming in someplace over here and then we'll have two five to nines go all the way up to the top so I think today's goal is really get this fine Finalized, and I'd like to get some of that graded and excavated out up above so when we come back in two weeks We can just hit the ground running and have fun building waterfalls This next phase is going to be tricky though Just because there's not a whole lot of access for us to get machines up in there So things will work a whole lot slower up in this area and that's where we're at. So let's see how we do today. Everybody's a little sore. I tweaked my back just a touch yesterday. It's just one of those days. <laughs> but we'll, we'll give it the, the old college try and see uh, how far we can get. Wish us luck. Bye. We're done with three footer. Eight years of experience for you, yeah. right? Like that's insane to say about right? any profession. Like that's pretty crazy. The and fact 26 that twenty-six for yeah, you over fifty years of combined experience. Frightening. I have to say, guys, it kind of looks like it. Like, it's <laughs> awesome. It's so cool. We're sitting inside the house, and of course, we're checking out the views really cool. from the kitchen window over here, from the bedroom windows, from the front door, which I can't wait to show you guys. It just turned out absolutely amazing. Big shout out to Mark, AJ, and Kyle. Mark. The Utah, local CAC, local C Mark, Utah Pond Guy, Utah Earth, Pond, Energy, Earth Energy, Water Skates. Yep, his boys came out here. Kyle Brown from Timberworks, awesome operator. Really, really helped out quite a bit out here. Absolutely. You know, when having those other machines and really Kyle like just figured out logistically like yeah. get machines out here, multiple machines, skid steers, returning things, coffee runs. You know, <laughs> well, he's else. been in the construction industry yeah, a long like, time, so he knows that. He stuff. knows how to keep things he rolling. 
really, does. really, really exactly. well. I think we need to, I think we set the bar pretty high for phase two. For sure. Right? Like we've got Alan Decker, Jack Harju coming out, and Mark's gonna be back here, Kyle's gonna be back here. The only person that won't be here is you. And yeah. that's gotta suck. It totally right? does. Like, I, just hate, suck. I hate going the to The worst a, feeling even. ever is to build something and not be able to do Absolutely. this at the end. I know. Because you can envision it. It's like yeah. you're seeing it all coming together, and now it's like I'm not gonna get that satisfaction. So I'll have to live vicariously through you, the videos, <laughs> and all that stuff, and all those updates. So hey guys, you know what to do. Hopefully you enjoyed. So we'll be back here with Atlantis Water Gardens. We'll have Alan Decker Alan out Decker. here, yep. and a couple other CACs. It's always a big collaborative effort, and I can't wait to show you the next phase. All right, we're back in Utah. Things are kind of the same, but a whole lot different at the same time. We're uh, here to finish up phase two of everything. As we sit here, you got a hot air balloon. Looks like it's about to land on the job site. But we've got Kyle, we've got Alan, we've got Jack. Morning, guys. What's up, man? What do you think? This is uh, looking pretty awesome. You guys did a, a great job with the bottom section of this waterfall. Two thirds of it. Yeah. The bottom. The two unimportant thirds. part looks good. The top, where Alan and I are going to be working, is going to be <laughs> next. <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, man, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You excited? Oh yeah. Yeah. Can't this wait. is gonna look cool. This uh, this rock is pretty similar to what we use up in New York, so I'm looking forward to it. Nice. We've got the crew. <laughs> Thanks for coming back, guys. The fact that you came, the choice. fact that you came, the fact that you came back is kind of important. And well, Robert we just came to drop the stuff off. Well, Robert, I'm introduce sure. yourself really quick. Robert Lofgren, just from down in Salt Lake area with Wasatch Ponds. Nice. New CAC. Yep. That's great. Just about to get to the pro level already. Just oh, that's fantastic. Work, but Mark's been a great just. Uh, supervisor here teaching me along the way since day one when I first said what hey, who would guess yeah right? a little bit of a teacher in you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well we're gonna get at it we'll kind of go uh, through play by play what our goal is by the end of the week but thanks again for joining in and uh, hopefully you guys like I don't know which video this is episode three four five six who knows <laughs> Everybody's the second day out here. We're still in Utah. I don't know where else you'd think we'd be, but <laughs> that's where we're at. We absolutely crushed it yesterday. We did so good. And I started thinking about the duration this entire project has taken. The first day, hardly anything got done. None of our product was here. We focused on digging the hole and that was it. The second day, still none of our product got here. We ended up getting that stuff around 2.30, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was like around 2.30. We spent that day just putting in the aqua box because all we had was a little bit of fabric and our liner. We didn't have all of the plumbing, the pumps, or anything else. So in two days, we got our tank in, which is way behind schedule. The third day, we crushed it with Ed and Kyle, Mark and AJ. Fourth day, we continued to crush it. I'm out of breath, because I'm in Utah. <laughs> Oh my god, walk I figured I'd walk around and do this, but I'm so it, it, the air is so thin, I'm like out of breath. I'm gonna I'm like, <laughs> So in four days we got quite a bit done the first first time we were out here. Yesterday with Alan, Jack, AJ Mark. Kyle and Robert, we absolutely destroyed it. So let me show you everything we accomplished yesterday and uh, what our goal is for today. So you can see we finished up this area. We set these boulders back in here. We got our vault still exposed, but easy to finish off with just some gravel. The reason we're leaving them exposed and so we can just check on things as things are running. We ran our plumbing all the way up. You can see it way off in the distance up there. We set some outcroppings back over in here and through here. We added all the gravel over the top of this, getting ready to do this dry stream bed today. We've got lights. We did all of the bib liners in through here, up and through here, got everything foamed and sealed up really nice. Today, we're gonna finish up this pool, actually get this one running, and then Jack. We're gonna finish this pool, we get this running. So what we're gonna do is, sure. <laughs> it's fun to work with talented people, but a lot of times you kind of weigh the options. Like, is it, is it the pain in the ass actually worth it? But <laughs> and then Jack and Alan, Kyle, just crushed this up in here. So there's that big giant fall. Hey, actually Jack, get in there and tell me a little bit what you think the water's gonna do. Yeah, man. So this is our big presentation drop, and one of the things you said when I got here 
was you gotta be able to see a waterfall walking through the front door, all that glass. This is what that waterfall represents. So it's gonna be like the main drop coming into here. I see water like coming off of this, hitting this rock. Down in here, we got three, five to nines going here. Yep. So we're gonna have every bit of like 15,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more. Yeah, a little more. So it'll actually cover this whole rock. This little V cut out right here, we'll have like a big column of water coming like right down four foot. And we'll put a, a rock behind this to kind of equalize it so that when the water comes through, it comes off evenly and then it just distributes it to these areas where it doesn't all just get caught right sure. here. From here, we gotta turn hard right and we're going up to that spot up there where we're gonna have the start, the headwaters of the waterfall. So we've got another little drop right in here, probably about an 18 inch to two foot drop in here, a little pool past it, and then one more drop. So I'm thinking today we'll at least get up into the next drop. We'll get all this done today. Wow. <coughs> wow. Dude, come on. Come on. Of course we're gonna get Alan, how do you feel about the progress from yesterday? I think we did really good. I actually like the size of the rocks. I like using stuff like this. It just, it's gonna look really mountainous, and when you look around, it's gonna be perfect for the setting. And you were saying yesterday, this is really similar to the character of some of the rocks you work with back home. Yeah, because we got a lot of granite by us. Sometimes some of the runs are a little bit more round, like a little bit more perfect, but I like the angular stuff because I think it lends itself for a much more natural look at falls, especially in this area. Yeah, no, um, Jack was actually just saying, it reminded us a lot of the project we did out in Columbia. Yeah, this rock is almost exactly like the rock we had in Columbia and the style of waterfall looks just, it could have been taken right out from that front entrance and dropped here. So Tony, cue like the Columbia waterfall <laughs> footage and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Always fun working with those guys. Which is probably why we work so well together and we get things done so efficiently. We're having a blast out here doing this. I mean, yesterday was hot, dusty, windy, and I think we were laughing all the way until we went to bed or at least <laughs> close to when we went to bed. We definitely went to bed pretty easy. But today, We'll get a ton done. I think we'll actually have part of this running by the end of the day, maybe even by lunchtime, and definitely have the whole thing running tomorrow. So if we could get done a day early, oh, how awesome would that be? All right, guys, thanks for joining us. We'll, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> let's just keep doing this. All right, bye.